<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. On Saturday, our sister Selena achieved a longtime dream, hitting the stage as a fitness competitor. And that got us all thinking, as women, life often hits us in ways that sometimes forces us to abandon things we're deeply desired to do. Mm -hmm. And what that said was we want to, with that being said, we want to encourage uh, one another and by sharing our stories and our dreams and the mm -hmm. things that we have achieved, and we planned it, and we achieved it. Mm. Or always wanted to. Yeah. Maybe there's something left that you haven't gotten to yet. That's yeah, right. that is true. That's true. Yeah. Who would like to go first? Well, I want to piggyback, since Selena has just fulfilled a really big dream mm -hmm. of hers, and you, you said you've been thinking about it for years. Yes. What was the clicking point where you were like, okay, now, now is the time, the time to do it. I've been thinking about this for five, six, seven, eight years, but today is the day, and I'm deciding to do it. I remember that day you walked out, and you were like, Rashawn, I'm doing a fitness competition. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's almost like getting ready to have a baby. Mm. You know how you always say you want to have children, but right. you be like, mm -hmm. nah, this ain't the time. Mm -hmm. Nah, this ain't the time. Well, a lot of our dreams and goals, it's never going to be the right time. Mm -hmm. You just have to go ahead and just say, forget it. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And so I was at a place in my life where I was, I felt like I was just existing. You know, I was just kind of getting up every day, coming to the circle, doing music, recording an album, just, just in a whirlwind of things that facilitate others mm. and other things. Now, yes, it is me doing them, and it does help me. You know, I'm recording my own album and all of that, and right. getting up, coming to Sister Circle for my own job and stuff. But it, but at the end of the day, it was something to help others also function as well as a functionality. Yeah. Yeah. I was a piece of a puzzle, mm. if you will. I wanted to do something that was for me, mm -hmm. by myself, mm -hmm. that I had to control, that I was the determiner, uh, I was the person that determined God, whether or not I could do it or not. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but just always psyched myself out like, you're not gonna have time enough. You're not gonna be able to be that disciplined. You're not gonna be able to do it. You know, uh, your body's not gonna be able to shape up like that. Mm -hmm. So I just <laughs> felt like I need to just find the right people and I just need to find professionals, and I just need to do it. Yeah. And don't tell nobody until I'm knee deep in it. Yeah. And and then hold yourself accountable mm -hmm. with, then tell people so right. you can be accountable. Yeah, that's great, I, because you had attainable goals. And I know we'll get on to everyone else, because what you did first was you got ready for the album. That was attainable, and then you dropped there, and then you took it to another level. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess we all can speak to like attaining those incremental dreams mm -hmm. to the yeah. big dream. Do you have any, look, what about you, Trina? The incremental ooh, dreams ooh, to the big ooh, dream. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, I have several. Now, some things I'm not going to divulge because, like Selena said, you don't let your left hand or your right hand is doing. Mm, that's old school. Um, <laughs> but even with Bar Chicks, I started out as a mobile bartending company. Mm -hmm. You know, and well, first I had to go to mixology school. Mm. Then I had a mobile bartending company. Mm. Then I had a brick and mortar. You yeah. know, and it mm -hmm. all just kind of segues from one direction mm -hmm. to another. It all starts with with a, a hope. It's all, mm -hmm. all starts with a dream. Yes. It all starts with uh, just a conception. Yeah. Um, but you can't stop. I had a lot of naysayers. Yeah, absolutely. You know, mm, you can't do that. You never did that before. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Neither did you. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, message. But uh, that's what. When they say God gives you the desires of your heart, your it doesn't mean Tell that He always that He um, gives you what you want. Sometimes it means that God gives you what He wants you to have. That that's what it means when He gives you the desires of your heart. Right, he right. he mm -hmm. gives you what He wants you to have. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that way it comes to fruition. Yeah. Yeah. And that's if good. it stays yeah. in your belly, it stays if, in your belly. If, if God puts you, something into your in your system and you it just keeps reoccurring, yeah. mm -hmm. that's confirmation that that's what He wants you to pursue. Mm -hmm. so and as long as you keep denying it, that's the Holy Spirit saying, "Come on, girl. Yeah. When yeah. you gonna do this here thing that I'm trying to get you to do? And it, it might not be for that specific thing, but it might be I need you to take this step." because I need you to learn some things in those mm -hmm. steps to get to this next step mm -hmm. that yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to bless you yeah. with. But these yeah. are one of the steps you got to take. Yeah, you yeah, want me going to take yeah. my fat suit off too, Selena? What? Trina? <laughs> what? What I love the transparency. Happen? And you know what? But Trina's joking, but I feel you. Yeah. And when you're ready, Trina, when you're ready and you're ready, like you feel it, then it'll happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody can force you and make you do right. things that you don't want to do. You have to be ready inside of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, really quickly, I want to go ahead and throw uh, my dream out there that I have accomplished. And I got to tell you, it is uh, the, the cookbook, mm -hmm. uh, Cooking with Miss Quad, Live, Love, Laugh, and Eat. Guys, that took me two years, yeah. two whole years sure. to, to produce that book. I know that's right. And 
there was a time where I could have just easily thrown in the towel and mm -hmm. said, you know what, this is not happening. You know, I, 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 the literary agent doesn't know how to sell me. He doesn't know how to package me. Mm -hmm. I had personal things that was going mm -hmm. on in my life, you know, with, in the midst of a divorce and all of that. And I could have easily just said, you know what, I'm just not going to, to do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's so many other things that's going on. But I said, this is, this is a, a true desire of my heart. Yes. And this is something that I want to do. And I just stayed the course. And uh, with me doing that, you know, it was, it was tranquil for me, you know, although I was producing it, you know, for other people, it was still, the process was tranquil for me. And it did, in a sense, become somewhat of a bit distra of a distraction mm -hmm. from everything else that I had going mm -hmm. on. So, uh, and I'm truly happy that I just stuck with it. It's a great yeah, class. Too. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Too. Good stuff.